New data on the warm-up on the way. We begin at 5 o'clock with new information on that mass shooting in Kentucky. Police said a bank employee armed with a rifle shot more than a dozen people. We want to show you now aerial video from where this shooting happened as investigators are trying to figure out what led to all of this. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Chris Lovingood. And I'm Deborah Morgan. We just learned the suspect live streamed the shooting as it happened in downtown Louisville this morning, leaving four people dead and nine others hurt, including two police officers. Within the last two hours, police identified the gunman as 23 year old Connor Sturgeon. Police shot and killed him. Mark Boyle has been following any breaking developments from the WRL Live Center. Mark. Deborah, let's get right to that brand new information about the shooter. In this case, police identifying him as Connor Surgeon and releasing this photograph of the shooter here behind me. In yellow, highlighted this information. This is brand new. According to notes, he was going to be terminated by this bank there in Louisville that he targeted. He also wrote a note to his parents and friends indicating that he was going to shoot at that bank. So all those details just now being released and some new information on your screen right now about this deadly shooting. Here's the latest information. Four dead, nine hurt, including three officers. Talks about the gunman notifying uh, his parents about this in that note. And Kentucky governor now saying that he lost a very close friend in this shooting as well. Ivan, uh, Ivan Rodriguez has the very latest from Louisville, Kentucky here at five. Terrifying moments in downtown Louisville. Police say they received the report of an active shooter at Old National Bank Monday morning. I got a call from my wife panicking that she was locked in the vault. Caleb Goodlett says his wife works there. Just a very traumatic phone call to get right at 830. Shaken but grateful for the quick response from police. Within three minutes of being dispatched, Officers arrived on scene and encountered the suspect. At least two officers were shot during this exchange of, of gunfire. Leaders praising Louisville Metro Police for their heroic actions. Without a doubt, their actions saved lives. We certainly saw, I think, the very best from them today. A law enforcement source confirms the gun used was an AR-15 style rifle. We believe this is a lone uh, gunman involved in this that did have a connection to the bank. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir says he lost two close friends in the shooting. This is awful. Our bodies and our minds are not meant to go through these types of tragedies. He's asking the community to unite around the families impacted. You watch the news, you see everything go down. You think of how you would handle this situation if it arose within your family. In Louisville, Kentucky, I'm Ivan Rodriguez. And as we get new information in from Louisville, Kentucky here this afternoon, we'll update you in the live center. Back to you. All right, thank you, Mark. The mother of a six-year-old boy 